Welcome to the RSP Boiler Room. I'm Matt Waldman with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. I'm going to take another look at Josh Rosen, the UCLA quarterback. And one of the things that I enjoy about his game is the thoroughness of his play fakes. And we're going to see that also combined with this particular play where he throws off balance and shows some good skill under pressure to maneuver and throw accurately. But first, the play fake. Let's watch how thorough it is. You're going to note as he makes his fake, watch him dip his head and shoulders on the play to provide emphasis at the mesh point. See that little dip? Let's watch it one more time. We're going to watch it a few times that way. That little accent just to say, I'm handing the ball off. That little accent matters and it sells that play fake. Now he has some pressure. Now let's watch him against pressure. You got some pressure working up the middle to his right shoulder. Watch him adjust with a nice turn of the shoulder away from the defender who's pressuring him up the hash. Make a couple little steps just to adjust so his body can hit this outlet receiver downfield. And watch this outlet receiver make the first man miss, make the second man miss, or at least long enough, hold him off to get the first down. So how does this receiver get so wide open on this play? Despite the fact there's a blitz and the blitz isn't really buying this play fake from Rosen who had, again, good extension, good little emphasis with the shoulders and head, the blitz may not be buying it, but number 48 here who should be covering this runner out of the backfield, he buys the play fake. The runner slips out behind him. And now Rosen has a wide open check down option. And he does a nice job of adjusting that shoulder to the pressure, making the off balance throw across the opposite, across the field really, to the opposite flat, even though it's only for a yard of distance net. Gives the runner room to make the play. This is, this is an integration of a number of good concepts that you're looking for. The play fake, the nice little shoulder reduction, and understanding how compressed the pocket is to get rid of the ball off platform and accurately and getting rid of it quickly. Because when you do that against a zone, you buy your receiver time in the outlet in that flat to make a play. I also like the poise in which Rosen is able to avoid pressure. This is another play where he shows economy of movement to maneuver the pocket. Watch him look to his left side at the beginning of his drop and as he finishes his drop he feels this edge pressure around the right side and he just moves the, he just moves the leg just enough to avoid keep his body in a good stance so that he can just step into the throw and he delivers this ball from the 32 of the left hash just outside the right hash of the 45 so you're looking at a 23 yard throw kind of a deep slant or maybe a dig depending on looks more like a deep slant into the receiver on time and again, he's not overreacting to the pressure. He feels a little bit of it, but he's able to step, reset, and fire. Sometimes that's going to end up being a sack. But I think that he feels the pressure well, knows how much he has to move. And he's calm and poised. And that's what's more important, is when you're resetting, can you be calm and poised to reset and fire in a timely, efficient, accurate manner. And he does all of that with the movement of his body with this play. Here's another nice play fake. It's, you got a little bit of a boot action moving to the left and a throw to the left that's going to freeze this underneath defender. Who's dropping here but watch him hold this defender 
just long enough that he can get that ball over the top and on a one-on-one. -on -one. Again, the little emphasis with the shoulders going down, hiding the ball, but first extending it just enough. You can see that ball right over here to really sell the fake. All these guys flowing to the right. This linebacker staying inside and holding his ground just in case to maintain that backside gap in case of a cutback. But it's going to open the field for this receiver I'm circling who's going to have no one underneath to buzz out to that flat in time to make a play. All by the play fake. Here's another nice example against Stan. To hold the defenders and it buys them time enough to look through a couple of progressions and find the crossing route working to the right flat. But look at the extension of the ball, the ducking of the head and shoulders to really sell it with emphasis at the mesh point. Buys him time to look downfield and see what's there, but he doesn't see anything working. Works back to the right side on the deeper looking routes, doesn't see anything. Finds his running back who he play fake to coming across the field. He's patient enough to hit him in stride. Doesn't go for much but it's positive yards on first and 10. And our last one, we have Rosen once again booting to the left. He throws very well to the left in the intermediate, intermediate range of the field. Got the full play fake here with the ball fully extended. And it's enough to hold this defensive tackle here, a pretty darn good one, in fact. Hold him towards the and honor the running back with that fake. And then watch him wheel around quick enough to get his front foot out and facing the target on the deep out and deliver this ball from the 10 to the 36. So you're looking at about a 26 yard throw on the move with zip in bounds on the out. So we got one full time. This is a quarterback with a lot of good technical qualities to his game. You can see him getting the opportunity to work under center, issuing three, five, and sometimes seven step drops. He avoids pressure well. He's able to maneuver and throw with accuracy. He has enough deep ball accuracy or vert, I would say intermediate accuracy to be a pro quarterback. I don't think he has a fantastic arm at this stage. But as a sophomore in the NFL, or sophomore in the big in the Pac-10, he's looking pretty good. He reminds me in body type and in mobility, and with his arm being good but not great, reminds me a lot of Matt Ryan. It's kind of a Matt Ryan-esque style of player. Now, if he can show the level of decision making that you want from an NFL player then we might start talking about whether he has Matt Ryan talent and upside but stylistically that's there stylistically he has a lot of Matt Ryan like looks to what he does thanks again for watching for more RSP Boiler Rooms you can check out my YouTube channel the RSP Film Room or my blog at www.mountwaltmanrsp.com